Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 10.37 p.m. Monty and I are tired. But the show must go on! If you've been with the channel long enough, you'll know that I like the silicone cases from Casetify, but how about their custom AirPod and AirPod Pro cases? I'm not as excited for them. The monogramming on it is pretty cool, but there's still a couple issues with this case. If you've been watching my isolation series, you probably know what I'm going to talk about in the next few minutes, don't you? And we'll buy reviews, eh? Monty and I were awesome. With this Casetify case, it kind of sits somewhere between a thin silicone case and a bulky silicone case. Actually, it's not a silicone case at all. It's a TPU case, which is a very common material for AirPod cases. This custom case is only 1.2 millimeters thick, so it's not gonna add a lot of bulk to your AirPods. You have the option of three clear colors, and like most clear cases, the contact between the clear TPU and the device will look wet on, in certain areas. Now that wet look sometimes goes away if you rub it with a microfiber cloth, but that's kind of a double-edged sword because because after I did that, this cap comes off incredibly easily. I asked Casetify to send me one of these products and like, oh yeah, we've sent you stuff before. We're gonna put your name on it and we're gonna send you the pink one. Um, so yeah, but looking at the pictures on the website, I am guessing that the darker looking case, the gray one, won't have this wet looking sticky parts. It won't be as prevalent. You won't notice it as much. Did you see that spit? <laughs> The standout feature of the Caseology AirPods case is really the custom prints and the normal prints. If you're looking to set your AirPods case apart from, you know, everybody else's boring giant white chiclets, get something from Casetify. But as you scroll through all the potential prints, you may notice a few that are questionable. Monty, those are boobs. 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 Now for the custom prints, the selection is a little more limited. If you go on the website and you're like, whoa, look at all those colorful things that I can like print on my AirPods case. No, boobs. You cannot print a chibi version of Monty on your AirPods case. Well, I wish you could, you can't. You're limited to a maximum of eight characters and four different text styles. I'm not sure why Caseify doesn't offer more printing options as the clear case that they printed with my YouTube avatar is actually pretty slick. The AirPods case comes with a lux metal ring that's smaller than other rings from Caseology, but that probably means that Caseify doesn't want to wear this on your belt. The lux metal ring has a screw closer rather than like a clip, so I'm guessing Caseify wants us to wear this on a set of keys, which which makes a lot more sense than belt. So if you're finding this review entertaining, share it with somebody because everybody needs a bit of isolation love. Every single day between 12 and one, I'll entertain you for about five to seven minutes. So yeah, share the videos, Monty wants you to. The two piece case keeps the click of the cap, which is kind of great, uh, but the cap does get loose after a couple openings or it just kind of comes right off. So you do have to keep an eye on that. That's actually really terrible. The back of the case also doesn't pinch like the mouse AirPods case does. This is so bad. As a side note, I did get a Nomad Active Rugged case and my subcase Battle Pods also showed up. So that Nomad Rugged case, Active Rugged case, oh man, that is a nice case. Anyways, back to this. I will note that the sync button on the back of the case to fight case doesn't look like you can press it because there's no like design feature that protrudes out or anything, but if you press hard enough through the TPU, you can access it. When it comes to protection, the Caseify suffers the same fate as every other two-piece case. Cap pops off, AirPod lids opens up, and the buds come flying out. Transparent clear case from Caseify. Will this come off? The cap's gonna come off, but I'm curious to know if the top piece will come off. There's no sticky parts to it, so uh, uh, uh. So that's all I got for this product. Unless you absolutely need to have a monogrammed case, stay away from this. I don't think it's a good product. I'm sorry to say. I like Casetify, I just don't like this product. First time watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe, producing content every single day for a while we're all in isolation, which could be gone soon, could not be gone, could be till the end of July, I don't know, but I'm gonna make 120 review videos in 120 days. That's the goal. So, subscribe. One of the things I'm trying to figure out is how am I going to cut Monty's hair? I cook all his food, so it's like oatmeal sometimes, rice sometimes, a lot of fish, uh, chicken and the occasional beef and whatnot. And so like his beard's getting so long and grouty, like that's like chunks of food. He just looks so blah, blah. He is a half poodle, half uh, schnauzer, so he's a ma very manly schnoodle. So his hair is very fine. So at some point in time, I need to go cut my own hair 
and just by buzz it all. I'm trying to figure out, because his hair is so fine, if I can use my shears on him. So, it might be very terrible for both of us, right puppy? <laughs> <laughs>